So I've been thinking recently, oh, yeah. um, and you could say this was spurned on by a recent trip of mine to a part of the country that has very specific views on very specific things. But why should a man truly, uh -huh. truly uh -huh. be constrained to just one woman? Oh my God. I'm just saying. What is this trap? Did Sarah put you up to this? Uh, listen, I'm just, I'm just saying that, you know, like as... As a man, uh -huh. you know, like, why not have seven wives? You know, I've heard great things about polygamy and all that. Yeah. What are we Googling? I'm, I'm calling. I'm calling Dorothy. I'm going to ask. Okay, yeah, I yeah. think she should I also would, be in on this. I think most sister wives are usually pretty chill with the process. Yeah, I'm sure. They're like, I, you know what? I got too much attention anyways. Yeah. You know, like, oh, you know what every woman <laughs> says about men? Uh, way too attentive. Way, wow. you know, way too around. I'm so, I'm already sweating. I'm like, who's watching this right now? Who, because, you know, I went, to, I went to Salt Lake City. Yeah. Didn't meet a singular Mormon, mm. but low key. Mm. So you were feeling the Mormon vibe? No, not at all. Yeah, exactly. not even, you're, you're like, you know? Not even remotely. Maybe I'll, I was getting, I'll open some literature. I was getting eyes. I was getting, I was like, I was walking around as a tattooed individual. Not a whole lot of oh, them yeah. in Salt Lake City. Uh, yeah, like the minority were very right. oppressed. Wow. Uh, but just eyes just like everywhere i went just like following yeah. me and i was there um so for those of you who don't know i recently went to salt lake city uh to get a tattoo from a tattoo artist named winnie the drew one of the greatest people i've ever met in my entire life has a much more unique look than me that dude looked hardcore yeah. that is what you want it that's like an ink master's ass looking dude yeah. like uh winnie, like long snake bite piercings not like, a piercing that's no? crazy it's not it just hangs on his lip he, we, we sat down to eat. He took it out and was like, oh, my entire... I felt like I had Thanos. You're like, you put that back in, you I bastard. I felt like I got Thanos snapped. I was like, oh, Whoa. my brain. I like literally <laughs> melted. But yeah, he's like a six foot. Um, he's oh Tongan. Uh, so he's a Pacific Islander. Huge dude. Uh, he's just Tongan? Tongan. From like the, the country of Tonga. You don't know Whoa. what Tonga, you don't know no, what Tonga is? No, I've never even heard it's of near, that. It's near Samoa. And it's like, it's like Maori. Well, it's not Maori because Maori is... Um, uh, is. I've never heard of any... Are these... You're making up countries no, it's right specific, now? No, it's Pacific Islander. Okay. Yeah, it's just it's just Tonga, Maori, Whoa, Samoa. crazy. All places. Got yes. you. Um, okay. It, but so he has been there his entire life. Salt Lake City, though. Uh, kind of a nice city. I've never... What is Salt Lake City? We've never heard of Salt I, Lake what City? What are these places you're talking about? What are you... What are you right? Oh, it's a major city in America. <laughs> You've never heard... It's got a basketball team. I just don't understand. Like, the basketball team's in the NBA this, Finals. This not like, that it means anything to you, and this theater is like major. by Tongwa? Yes, by Tongwa. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the Mayan... The, 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 uh, the Mormons <laughs> yeah. and Pacific Islanders. You know, uh, yeah. super Salt close. Salt Lake City is where the Mayans originated. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's that's the last bastion of Mayan yeah. culture. You've never heard of Salt Lake no, City. I Oh, okay. go on. I'm fucking like, with you. I was so baffled for a second. I was just causing some chaos. I love the premise of you being like, Denver? What is yeah, fucking, yeah, like, what? Does it have an ocean? I don't give, who, who cares? You can smoke weed there? I don't, we can do that here. Who cares? Ka Calif Norna? Cali what are you talking Ka about? I don't, I'm not yeah. hearing, I'm not hearing you. You're not it's making like, any sense. And like I don't people understand. like everything in Europe, just an yeah. enigma. No I know idea. the moon. Maybe. <laughs> might, it might be fake. Yeah. Could be cheese. But yeah, Salt Lake City's got like a grid system. It's got a light rail. There's no one there. They have like six, like six like lanes on their roads and there's like 12 cars. <laughs> nice. It was crazy. I like the idea that they like, we're like, yo, this place is going to be booming. We need lanes for days. So, and then like the day they open the highway, no the, one. their boss is just like eyeing them like, God you fucked up, Bill. God damn All it. our highway budget to this. You thought people would like the salt in the lake. <laughs> yeah. They're not coming for the salt. Everybody's but, hitting that newfangled fresh lake city. <laughs> everybody likes to be actually able to swim in the water. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? But so anyways, like, it's just crazy. Apparently, like, every city you go to outside of California, if it's, uh -huh. like, remotely close to California, they're like, oh, man, the city's growing every year. Everybody's <laughs> leaving California and coming here. And I was like, I, I like, listen, it might happen. It yeah. might be happening but like no californians like oh man do i love this freedom in the sun and the <laughs> ocean let's go to the place where 60 percent of people are mormon like wow yeah. G golly gee do i love milk that's like, what no li listen at least i know now that mm. they have plenty of highways to accommodate me low-key one of the best infrastructures i've ever seen in a city <laughs> yeah. and that was uncle corner um i got a tattoo of itachi it took 12 hours do i show do i show the crowd yeah you show the crowd do i show you the crowd you showed him your bear thigh do last I, time do i show the it's very hard let's to stand go. up let's go let's go okay yeah <laughs> this is so, the episode so Nick impales himself so on Sengoku. 
Uh, we, nice. have, we have Itachi. Those of you listening to an audio forum, they can't. I'm, I, I'm they gonna, still can't see. Look, this is what it sounds no, like. No, but look, look at the wide. They can't see it. I'm showing the individual. Oh, I get it. That's a much better angle. But yes, I got an Itachi tattoo. It was really cool. Uh, we're going back for another part. Uh, eventually, I don't. I don't know when. I think I'm thinking about buying land. In Salt Lake City. In, in Salt Lake City. Because I'm going to be there like for an entire leg sleeve. And like apparently it's a booming economy. And everybody from California is moving there. So I was like. Mm, I, I can't imagine property. it still justifies that. No, probably I, not. When I was in Muskogee, I mm -hmm. saw like a four bedroom house going for like. Negative three dollars. Going for like twelve hundred a month. Mm -hmm. Like for rent. Yeah. And I was like, holy if shit. If I'm living in Muskogee, Oklahoma and paying anything above two hundred dollars a month what the fuck am i doing yeah, they gotta pay me to live in muskogee like oh yeah i'm <laughs> dust farming like no what like well, how am i making twelve hundred dollars yeah, a month that's still a good month like that's a good amount of money you're a moisture farmer not yeah. for four bedrooms i that's still like 15 grand a year in rent split among four people if you split it with four or would you even rather two? would you rather live in a four bedroom house in muskogee oklahoma or like that's probably like i would like if you split that's rent four ways in la right yeah, yeah that's yeah. probably how much it costs would you rather live in la and pay that much or have a four bedroom house in muskogee oklahoma if am i still a youtuber yeah probably muskogee if i'm thinking about it just like i get this whole place uh -huh. i work from home uh -huh. so like my work life changes not at all i don't leave already so there's no no pressure to go mm -hmm. to places i don't want to go yeah I was eyeing it. I was eyeing this place. There's nobody who has to clean up your brains when you blow them out. Yeah, exactly. So I'm not a burden on exactly. anybody when just, I eventually hang myself. Yeah, it's like the end. It's like that episode of like Bill and whatever the guys were from The Last of Us. Ted? Oh. No, not Bill and Ted. Yeah. One of them was Bill, I was like, though. I didn't see Bill and Ted Bill three. blow their brains yeah. out. <laughs> Keanu like, Reeves fucking kill himself. Yeah, they're just like, this is radical. Fucking clear yeah. their brains. Whoa, Bill just killed himself. <laughs> 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 That's metal, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> there's nothing more metal than ending your life early. Yeah, like, it's like, is this the drive home message for the children? <laughs> but yes, that's our cold open. I'm NC Hammer 23, also known as the Weeb Commander, also known as Nicholas Connor. And you are listening to a talk is anonymous. Go with through my, your other 12. With my, oh yeah, there's also <laughs> NC Hammer 23 and Espanol. NC Hammer 23 <laughs> M Portuguese. It's like, it's not N, it's M. Nice. Uh, then there's there's something in Tong, uh, not Tongan, Tagalog. I was going to say, yeah. you got a Tongan one now? Big, big audience. Yeah, that's how Tonga. you got the tattoo artist. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then there's like 12. We're, we're posting all of our videos. Uh, AI is dubbing all of our stuff in 12 different languages. So if you're for some reason listening to nice. an English podcast when you don't speak English, boy, oh yeah. boy, do I have options for you. Yeah, wow. Nick's part of the AI problem. It's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to steal work from writers all over <laughs> who are trying to dub my YouTube content. Um, I am Danny Mata, um, otherwise known as DMata3 on TikTok. Mm -hmm. um, and a new... Uh, watcher of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I'm on like episode 10 now. Episode 10. I'm crushing through it. So, Shao Tucker. <laughs> yeah. Kind of a good guy, right? Yeah, kind of like a nice, like, real reasonable guy. I had My power went out like 10 minutes before the episode ended. Oh, and so no. I was just like... I'll oh, just I mean, skip you, it. I'll I, wrap it up. That's fine. Yeah. And so I just skipped it and I moved on. But he seemed cool. Yeah, right? He seemed like a nice he guy. He was like, Wi Fi went out and you're like, a couple episodes later, yeah. you're like, I'm sure Nina and yeah. Shao are just living their best life. Yeah, big, big animal guy. Yeah. Big daughter guy. It's a shame he lost his his wife. Yeah. That's, yeah, big I mean, shame. But like, you know, like, sometimes, what a bitch walked out on him because he was poor. What a whore. What a money grubbing. You're going to lose your state alchemist. You're like, oh, oh, he's just going to leave me. You're going to go fuck some other alchemist. Yeah. You know what? I hope you get kind <laughs> Chimerized with a dog, okay? I hope you yeah. live an incredibly painful existence <laughs> trying to talk to Edward. Dude, I, so I watched the episode, obviously. Yeah, and episode then, six. Episode four of Brotherhood. It's, not, it's, it's episode four? It's episode four of Brotherhood, seven of the original. They do because, it that early? Because then, Christ. Brotherhood cooks so fast. Oh, the is, pacing is insane. That as far as I'm concerned, I still haven't been told what alchemy is. <laughs> I don't know why. Everybody just keeps clapping. They're like, well, they're like, do, do you need chalk to draw a summoning circle? And mm -hmm. Ed's like, no, I got it. And they're like, Whoa! Oh, he, oh. he made a ring with his hands. And yeah. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah. They never explained it to me. Uh, Ten episodes in, I don't know. They explain it eventually. Big stretch. Big stretch. Everybody do a big, big stretch. stretch right now. This, Come this, on. This was brought to you by Neutron Incorporated. Yeah. He is technically a sir in Scotland. Yeah. He owns land. Cut your toes. Uh, crack your back. Mm. Everybody do a big stretch. Drink 
a, a big yug of water yep. and that's on yeah. and that's on neutron so yeah they they do explain why edward yeah. doesn't need a transmutation circle well, eventually he, he doesn't need one because he got like the fucking chat with god yeah you already know so yeah. i know that uh -huh. i don't get because some people can do the clap who some like i could have sworn it's ed alphonse what's his name does it um the scar scar doesn't use alchemy he does alchemy halfway through. Nick, please, I think I know well, what I'm talking so, about. I'm so, 10 episodes in. So Scar... Scar does Have you seen his back yet? No. Okay. The, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right, then, okay. Once you then. see his back, you'll understand. Um, Ed needs mm. an alchemy circle. Ed Or no, Al does. Need an, Al does. Neither of them need it. Al can't clap. Because yeah, can. uh, Al breaks a radio, and then he draws... He spends like four minutes drawing this big chalk circle... And then makes the radio go back to normal. Wait, you actually might be right. I Whereas don't, Ed, yeah. in a later episode, uh -huh. actually, another radio gets broken. And Ed's <laughs> like, yo, pew, pew. Yeah, like, so they just have to. So Ed has to touch the part of his body he lost to truth. Uh -huh. And that's like and then like he makes the circle by clapping his hands together. OK, so like he's basically tapping into the power of truths by touching the arm he lost. Oh. I guess he could also touch his leg. I don't think Al is able to do it because he lost his entire body. So he couldn't just like start ham boning and like do some alchemy. Like it's because it's the arm because so, that's kind of no. Yeah, that's why he has to yeah. clap. That's why he usually clap and then like turn yeah. his like um. Yeah, what, he makes a blade. Here's that's another what called. What, what is what is the uh, metal like, called? Yeah, it's like mail? auto mail. Auto, auto mail. That's what yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah. Here's my other qualm. Your qualm is that. <laughs> it's an unnecessary L in there for sure. <laughs> is that um, Ed is constantly like, I'm not gonna kill for you. No way. Mm -hmm. Quit making a fucking knife hand, my dude. There's definitely what are we less making sharp a knife options. Hand for? Yeah, yeah, there's definitely like you could like you could make a hammer. <laughs> yeah, you could. But that being said, you know like. You know, law of conservation. Have you heard yeah. that enough yet? Oh, yeah. Equivalent exchange. Equivalent exchange. Oh, my goodness. There's a bit where Shao Tucker, Shao Tucker gives a good zing at one point. Love that for where him. Where he's like, they're great like, guy. give us great guy. Yeah. Clever, smart man, mm -hmm. rational too. That's what I like about him. Uh, listen, listen. Yeah. Uh, not even to be inflammatory. Okay. <laughs> kind of on his side. In what regard? Uh, okay, well, listen. In what regard? Listen, I'll give you the spiel that I've given TikTok a couple of times yeah. here. Um, first off, yeah. he's going to lose his, his, his alchemist badge. That's how he makes. There a, are other jobs. That's how he makes a living. You, that's how he makes fucking meatballs with teeth <laughs> and like three-headed chimpanzees. What are you talking about? Meatballs. He has a big meatball monster in a cage. Don't think I didn't notice that. <laughs> the Olive Garden special. I'll take, a, I'll take a, the crunchy meatball. He makes a big spicy meatball with a bunch of fucking teeth. It's, it's dad's job to make the money yeah. for the house. And if he gets embarrassed by losing his job, uh, then he's got to kill everybody. Yeah, he's like, this a meatball eats a you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the spiciest of each yeah. ball is the one that cost your life. Okay, so he's going to lose his license. Yeah, and everybody knows, dad, everybody knows families would rather be dead than embarrassed through the medium of their father. Ask Vin Diesel that. Uh, no chance. No chance Vin Diesel would ever be like, think, oh, my car or my family. You don't think if Vin Diesel was about to be embarrassed in front of his entire family, he would willingly fucking kill them? <laughs> if, if he was about, if Vin Diesel was getting bent oh over God. by some bad guy, just absolutely violent. If you think he wouldn't, put, he wouldn't put Remy out of her misery? Someone's just running donuts around him in a race. And he's just like, has his hand on Brian Jr.'s throat. <laughs> like... <laughs> Just like, I'll kill this kid. You gotta let me like, win. The very serious undertones of every Vin Diesel race yeah. is that if he loses, he's <laughs> just killing everybody. I like the idea that it's like, it's like, I'm gonna win for family. And he starts losing. He's like, no, 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 please, please, please. No, no, no. I'll, I'll give you anything. <laughs> like, like, All right. Well, family's gotta go then. Yeah, like, so, so, on. but there's also the um, fact that, oh, everyone's like, oh, he used, he uses, he uses his wife. He used yeah, his daughter. Yeah. Only women around him. Only people around him. Only women around who, who him. Why else is it gotta be a woman? Nick, who else what are you saying? Gonna, who else what are you saying, Nick? Well, listen, here's the thing. <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing. All right, so Shao Tucker, what's his grand goal? To, I guess just keep being an alchemist. Animal girls. That's his grand goal. He's trying to make Neckos and dog girls and bunny girls. And God damn it, he's the only man brave enough to do it. And listen, science, the scientific process requires many more failures than success. You give Shao Tucker 100, 200 women. Mm -hmm. Eventually, we're going to get that prototypical <laughs> perfect cat here's little tail. Maybe maybe pause. We're getting Leone from a comic got kill. I got a comic got kill on the brand. I'm making a YouTube video about it right now. And that's the scientific process. He's the only one brave. 
tough enough. We're just seeing the early days of it. But no, Scar had to kill him. Scar had to get rid of the only genius, the only man brave enough to try and bring us the girls of our dreams. You know what, Nick? Mm -hmm. Coming around on it? You're on to something. Coming You're around on to something, it. my friend. <laughs> only women she had. Listen, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't on your side. Then I that, then I didn't consider that uh, whatever he turned his wife into must have been fucking hot. Hot. Yeah. Bingo. <laughs> I didn't consider I'd want to fucking slam that wife. This feels like this feels like the Always Sunny video, uh, the Always Sunny uh, episode where Mac and Dennis are talking about evolution and Charlie is the deciding yeah. vote. Yeah, it's, like, like, it's like, I don't know. That's not, you know what? This opinion isn't shocking at all coming <clears> from the man who, when I glanced at his phone earlier today, I saw like an ad for furry porn. Yep. Well, <laughs> Well, listen, yeah, you know, like, it's like I want to be like those uh, those old barstool articles where they're like, we keep getting all of these ads for gay cruises. Google <laughs> is gayifying us, and it's like gay that shit cruises. It was like it was like a barstool thing from like the early 2010s yeah. when they're like, Google's trying to push their gay agenda onto us, yeah. and it was like I keep getting all of these ads about gay cruises, and it's like <laughs> it literally it literally says like Google spot, like it's like it's like Google for yeah. you or some shit. I would love an ad about a gay cruise. Oh, they exist. Oh, me. they very much That's exist. So funny. The gays love boats. The gays they love, love boats. boats. Ask any one of them. It's so funny. Like, it's, it's Pride Month by the time this comes yeah. out. Gays, do you like boats? Ta and answer call in the comments. In. Call in. 918-666-OTAKUS. Yes. Um, Is that enough numbers? It's your number. I feel like that's... that's yeah, somehow <laughs> I, I got it. This morning. I got I got single, 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 yeah. single, single. Yeah. That's me, baby. <laughs> nueve dos, nueve dos. That's, a, that's, that's just a... That's a Spanish I think, lawyer. I think that's a GTA bit, right? Is it? Yeah. It's that's like, also a Family Guy bit. So I think it's oh, just then, a yeah. bit in general. Um, But have you watched the original version of like the original anime of the Shao Tucker episode? No. It's way worse. Really? I see your reasoning now. Okay. All that makes sense. You see, if you just watched the Brotherhood one, mm -hmm. that's making you horny. That makes sense. I'm like, <laughs> no, this. I see the vision here. Yeah, this dude is like three sacrifices away from making B-Stars happen. Exactly, like, yeah. I'm on board. You give me that, oh, listen, that rabbit? Respe Haru? Respectfully, Haru? Uh, it's legal. Is she, is she, uh, I respectfully, I would wait for her to hit legal age. <laughs> First off, she's a fucking rabbit. Like, oh, oh, so, like, you would, like you wouldn't split Judy just, Hops down the I'm middle? I'm just saying, I think it's, it'd be ridiculous for someone to be like, um, you're, I, I know she's a cartoon and a rabbit, mm -hmm. but she's an ambiguous <laughs> high school age. Like, she's 16, you yeah, bastard. Like, you're like, I think bestiality was the more important yeah. thing on this list here. Um, Judy Hops, Lola Bunny, and yeah. then that one. Split In them that like a order? Uh, no. Hops is on top. Your no, Judy your Hops order is good. Needlessly sexualized, <laughs> like like huh. Hops is a cutie. Hops is a cutie. Lola with Bunny a though has got that like. Uh, I'm talking about. I'm talking about first Lola Bunny because yeah. they they nerfed my girl in the yeah. second movie. That was yeah. bullshit. <laughs> they, uh, she was like. 40 in the second movie for good, some reason. Good, she's a rabbit and a milf. An yeah. R milf? Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> no, I mean in the second one. Yeah. Is she, okay, go yeah. on. Hell yeah. 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 Listen, are you saying 40 year olds can't wear crop tops anymore? No, I don't. Ages. Go on. I'm Ages sorry. Ages is crazy yeah, out here. No, Judy Hopps, Lola Bunny, uh -huh. and then the last one whose name I don't remember. So the same order, Haru? Absolutely. Yeah, I agree. Judy Hopps, like, Judy Hopps, absolute cutie patootie. Mm -hmm. uh, Lola Bunny, like, wouldn't even talk to me. So like I don't kind of in that though. That's like one of those girls I don't even like throw in the running. Like one of those like a like S tier popular girls in your high school that True. everyone's like yo like that I almost doxed a girl just now. <laughs> <laughs> I said the name. I was like, Is her address? You know, I found like, it because she would not invite me over. Yeah, like one of those girls that like all the guys are just like yo like that girl's gorgeous. Like mm -hmm. I would do insane things to her, and I'm like I had, like. I'm not even like in her like weight class. Like you like lie. You're like, nah, she's not yeah. that attractive. And you're like, God damn it. Yeah. Find me a B tier girl. And then, like... Oh, just give me a straight seven <laughs> out of 10. Who, who's got a great personality and maybe knows a thing or two about anime. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, Oh God, what was I going to say? I was going to say like, fic Oh no, here's, here's a good tangent to yeah. whatever we were just talking about. The full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal yeah. Alchemist. What, what anime woman to take us off? What do you think you would have a shot with? I like, have a shot with yeah, like not even like because like obviously we can be like, oh I want I want as death I want yeah, I'm not yeah. impressive enough for as death yeah. like I should be like oh where's your incursio uh, God damn it if I keep talking about a comic got killed I'm gonna kill myself <laughs> um but like it's just like there's so many incredible women out there in anime <laughs> who's the one who you're like I feel like I feel like I could slide in those DMs Can we do men and women Sure because I, I want to do both Okay I think 
This one's so... This is just because I'm, like, watching Full Metal Alchemist. Gotcha. What is that fucking absolute cutie patootie in the turtleneck and glasses who's, like, now they're, like, histographer? What is that girl's name? Ooh. Like, Chelsea or something? Oh, you haven't even met Risa Hawkeye yet. No. There's, there's it, better, there's better this from this show. This is just, like, regular-ass librarian girl. Glasses, girl, F-M-A-B. Gorgeous. Uh, she's Shishka? Yes, Sheska. Sheska? Sheska. Yo, Sheska. I see, I see your face. I saw the picture. Sheska is a cutie. You know what? You know Sheska is a capital Q, capital T. I'm, but you know what? If I want to go a little more, a little more. My mainstream. brother in Christ. This is just Sarah. <laughs> my, 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 this is. Sorry, I'm attracted to my girlfriend. <laughs> easy with somebody that. Somebody else. Easy saw with it. the porn of her. Yeah, somebody look, she else. She does saw look it. identical to Sarah. Is this, my brother, this is your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and my girlfriend's a cutie. She is. If I want to go a little more mainstream, okay. Um, I think I could score. Um, oh no, I can't believe I forgot her name. Who sexually assaults Denji? Makima? No, other one. Oh, Himino. Himino. I think I get Himino. Himino's like That's like fair. an artsy indie like kind of. She wears girl. Birkin, uh, Doc Martens for sure. She wears Doc Martens. Yep. Like she's into Tarantino. Like oh yeah. She's into like some, Pulp she, Fiction. Like Pulp Fiction yeah. poster. Like in her bedroom. She's into like Cage the Elephant, Arctic Monkeys. Yeah. Like I can I can get with. All you have to Himino. do is like smoke a cigarette and be like kind of distant. And yeah. Yeah, you're gonna. It's gonna work out. Yeah. yeah. Personally, I think. Uh, I think I could bag Robin. I think I could bag. I think Robin. 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 Yeah, yeah. You did not say Robin. I did not. You said Robin. I said Robin. <laughs> yeah. That's how nervous I got about the idea of bagging Robin. Robin. <laughs> think I, you could bag Robin? Absolutely. What are you talking about? Oh, listen. All right. No, she is. Well, here's the thing. Robin is my dream woman. Yeah. She's six two. Yeah. But like, oh yeah, right. Insane. Whoa. But like, Robin's just nice. Yeah. She's nice to everyone. She's kind of like that, like like maternal figure on the yeah. on the on the whole boat. Listen, I listen. But I, you think you can score Here's with my Robin. thing. Here's my thing. It's like it's like when Batman has fights. Uh -huh. When everyone's like, oh, what about prep time? Yeah. Right. I'm assuming I have prep time <laughs> yeah, with Robin. Okay, I'm, I'm time. reading up on archaeology all day long. Uh -huh. I'm gonna be like, listen, I'm sorry about what happened to your hometown. Yeah. Tell me about what you read on the tablets. Right. I'm also interested in all of the tomes you, and all of that. But do you come in? I want to know how strong you're coming in because you can come in strong. And so I'm ready. I'm Robin. I can come in strong. You can come in strong. Okay. You, you're a strong comer. That's, right. <laughs> if anybody would know. <laughs> yeah. Um. So here's what we're gonna do. I'll uh, be Robin. Right. I'm yeah. like smoking a cigarette. I've got an arm coming out of my forearm holding the cigarette yeah, like coming yeah. out of my so forearm so her other two hands can just do nothing yeah, yeah. and i'm like you know doing whatever robin does i'm like playing with my boobs or whatever big, of course <laughs> like, big time robin activities yeah big big uh arm coming out of my bicep mm -hmm. just looking at the horizon uh it's me it's you. It's, it's, it's me <laughs> it's you. Right. i'd be like hey girl are you an archaeologist because i want to arc that I'll, I, I, I'll argue I think, that. I think I peed. I think, I think, <laughs> can we, can we start over? No, right. I definitely peed. Right. I think. I'll stop you right here because we're already sleeping with each other at this point. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hell yeah. It's already worked. And that's how I got Dorothy, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, welcome to our most like chauvinistic episode yet. Like 30 minutes of just like. That's why I was this like, is what they come for. That's why I was like, can we toss in some guys like, <laughs> for any of our audience? Okay. All right. All right. What's the what's the man you could seduce very easily from anime? Yo, I could get so, like, but most of them are so horny. It would be so easy. I could get like adult Deku, like I just some nerd ass oh, dude that's who very I'm like, easy. that's a layup. I come in just like a nerd dude just wants to talk about his favorite hobby. Mm -hmm. I come in and I'm like, yeah, like I come in. Knowing exactly as much as him, but like playing it cool, and I'm like, yeah, Sounding man, like, board. yeah, yeah. Endeavor is cool, but like, you know, I think number four should actually be number one. And he's like, oh no way, I have all these notes. We should compare. Mm -hmm. I got and before you know bag. it, love. I got Deku in the bag. I gotta say, I feel like I could pretty. I feel like Aizawa. I think that's. I'm also gonna go my hero because, mm -hmm. like, I, listen, I always attract to the quiet. Like, yeah. it's just, like, who I've always right. dated are yeah. people substantially quieter than right. me. Because that way, they just push me out forward, and I take all of the attention away from them. Yeah. It's, like, why our friendship is very rare. Because, like, <laughs> we're both fucking loud. I love it. That's why I love having you around. Because <laughs> I can just push you out. And that's why I love, like, having Jose and other content creators in my circle. Because, like, finally, I can be like, oh, my God, I get to shut the fuck up for a little bit. It's so nice. I don't like that this is the tangent that spawned from which dude could you fuck from anime. Yeah. And you're like, this is why I love Danny. This is why I love Jose. Yeah, because I'm just trying to bounce up yeah. in those. Have you seen Jose's ass? Jose's got a fucking he's ass, got a dude. Thick. He's thick. 
Jose's yeah. thick. Jose's got an absolute pooper. Like every time we're in public, I'm like, yeah. God. Jose's got a porcelain shattering dumped. <laughs> yeah, like he'd sit down too hard. He'd get the recoil. But yeah, no, Aizawa is absolutely. I feel like I'm I'm I'm, I'm bagging up Aizawa every day of the week. Nice. Because we like, also Kakashi, I feel like. Yeah. Definitely gay. Feel like I could get him. Maybe here's the thing. I, I could get Mike guy. I wouldn't want to. No. Too much. Too much. He's intense. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like two positives just burn each other out. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I just be like, I want to be, I want to, but then he, then he loves Kakashi. So maybe I just get to be dark and broody for What about, I feel like you'd be into like a, uh, who's, who's Shikamaru's mentor? It's just oh, a chill Asuma? dude. Just, yeah. That's a great fucking choice. Just a chill, cool dude. That's a dude. great fucking <laughs> yeah. choice. Oh, my, I would fall asleep in Asuma's arms any yeah. day of the week, dude. Yeah. He would. The, my my biggest beef though is he would smell like cigarettes constantly. Oh yeah, for sure. And like also a beard. Yeah. That's my thing. It's like that's, that's the tough, reason. Yeah. That's the reason I don't think I could ever go men. I just scruff on my scruff. I'd be like, I would. Just, for some reason, that sensory like thing is what throws me. Yeah, I have every now and then. Like I think that too, mm-hmm. and I'm probably agree. I've like. There's one guy I know who is just, I'm like, for some reason, infatuated with his whole look. Yeah. And, I'm, and he's got like a beard. And I'm like, that's a dude. If I ever, mm-hmm. if I ever fuck a dude, that's the guy I'm fucking. I don't know if I have one of those. Yeah. I don't know if I have like in my immediate circle. Yeah. That's probably for the best. It's definitely weird when I'm like. I feel like Jennings would be up there. It's a hot man. Ugh. That's another where I'm like, that dude's out of my, that's like, fair. That, that's a fictional character. But we're small. Like, Talls love us. Yeah. I feel like in the, in the same but sex you're relationship. you're small and stocky. I'm like this fucking, you're a twink. like, green bean monster. Yeah, people love that. I suppose. People love that shit, man. <laughs> yeah. No, my God. You know how, like, you know how, like, you love, like, little, like. <laughs> <laughs> whoa. Whoa. What is this? What is that? Whoa. What is like, that? Oh, love for, our little. for our listeners, Nick just went into a fucking altered state, started like grabbing at something in front of him. And he's like, you know, you fucking love with this. And just his eyes were vibrating at me. <laughs> what are you talking about? I was literally about? this close to just doing that. And be like, you know, you love little girls. <laughs> oh, my, oh my God. No, I do not. I have felt like on, I've been on the edge of being canceled this whole this whole episode. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, fuck. I meant like small. I, like... I meant like small women. I meant like oh physically. Physically. <laughs> How dare you? My mom watches this, Nick. You know you love little girls. You just grab them. The parents <laughs> screaming, and you're just like, "What are you gonna do about it? Go loop the thing and think about what you've done." <laughs> okay, so. Now we can get into our topics for the week here because think, now we can flee from our I think, past. I think we should retreat from all of those takes, yeah. most likely. Uh, so I watched. Yeah, I did my homework. Okay, I, I finally oh, yeah. did it. Yeah, uh, Nick watched Arcane. I watched because Arcane. he lost last week's uh, game. I had to remind you halfway through the week, which was rigged, mind you. No. Last time I'll do homework on this podcast, most definitely. No chance. Absolutely not. If me um, and Stank have anything to say about, it. I guess I just gotta learn what all of yeah. your preferences are. Yeah. So Arcane way better than Castlevania. So way better. All right. I go in. So I'm going into arcane yeah. and I'm like, oh, I don't want to like this. Right. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't like, I, I like, I don't want Danny to be correct. I don't want to like this. Uh-huh. You know, it just seems like this whole thing that everybody, like, it seems everyone gaslighted each other into enjoying it. Mm-hmm. I thought it was like, Oh, you know, the hype. But then man, the, um, the intro song fucking who, who, who sings the, the imagine dragons song enemy is wait, who sings it. Imagine dragons. The one's like, Oh, the misery. Everybody wants to be. That's My enemy. Who is it? Imagine Dragon. Imagine dragging these nuts across your chin. I wrote that joke down the second I started the show. <laughs> that, was, that was the first thing I wrote down. <laughs> There is for those of you those of you listening in an audio form, Daniel has tears in his eyes. I'm crying and I'm not even laughing that much. Like, I my heart's broken for some reason. I'm like crying for real. I shut you look I sh- at me. I shit you not. The first thing I wrote on Trading Arc this week is I watched Arcane, who sings the intro, Dragon Nuts. That was the <laughs> biggest betrayal. I've ever- I've ever experienced. Oh fuck! I I'm like not even laughing. I just felt like tears well up in my eyes. 
I can't believe you would leave me on like that. Five that was trails. so fucked up. Oh Christ! I've what? Been, I've been playing that one for three tell days. Tell me, tell me, Arcane's the best show you've ever seen before I rip your scrotum from between your legs. <laughs> Can I give you my live notes on it? Yeah. Okay. All right. So first two episodes, fine. They're okay, vine. fair, fair. Super They're just, vine, if you will. That's just, they were okay. Yeah. I hated powder. I'm yeah. like, I'm counting down the seconds until this bitch dies. <laughs> just, just, oh, no, I'm useless. You're like, you're nine. You're from the fissures. When Get you it say, together. Right, because you texted me, and you were like, mm-hmm. when does this bitch die? Mm-hmm. And I'm like... Do you mean metaphorically? Do you not know that she's going to become Jinx? So I thought that Jinx had pink and blue hair. So oh. for the first two episodes, I thought that Vi and, and Jinx become, were like, I thought they were going to fuse. fuse. I thought they were going to fuse. Oh because I thought, like, I thought I'd seen her at like conventions uh, and like yeah. she had like pink and blue hair. And I was like, okay, like some hex yeah. tech thing is right. going to make these two fuse. Never happened. No, um, it does not. And so she's like, oh, I'm going to save the day. Throws a bob. Yeah. Kills her father. Kills everybody. Kills, kills everybody. All her friends. Never saw the child chubby friend again died in that moment yeah he dies in that explosion you oh. see the glasses are all fucked up and bloody gotcha did yeah. not mean he died to me but yeah, yeah so like dead. and then milo becomes a, a shimmer addict and you see him later yeah. i think right that's him I, I think or he dies i don't know well because I don't the, the the kiraman and vi go to like the underworld yeah. and vi's been stabbed and there's like this little like yeah, hunchback yeah. man oh he's maybe like, that is like, i don't want vi to see me yeah i think oh, that's yeah, Milo. yeah right i haven't seen it since it came out gotcha yeah, yeah so First two episodes, fine. Yeah. Um, the music, incredible. Hold the way through, all I'm the way not through. Anything the van, no, about no, like, the music. like outside of like just okay. a, like like the <laughs> intro being yeah. like like oh the misery. Yeah. Um, Did you like when they show up in the show? Which but like, they didn't look like, like video. They are such an average looking group of white men. And they just like put them in this bar in like some post grunge yeah. neo punk outfit. And I'm like, they're not that cool looking. I like did in, I did reviews for each arc because mm. it's three arcs, the show. And gotcha. they released it like episode one through three, one week, uh, four through six the next week. Mm. So each arc I did reviews. And in the second arc, when they show up, mm. I was like, flawless arc, um, like other than Imagine Dragons just being showing in it, up. Just yeah. being it. And people were like, what's wrong with Imagine Dragons? I love their music. And mm-hmm. I'm like, they're they're fucking in it. Yeah. Like it's just I, weird. I like three days grace. I don't want them to show up in Game of Thrones. Yeah, I don't like, want, I want 30 seconds to Mars. I want Jared Leto animated <laughs> yeah. into the yeah, like into my Naruto episode. Yeah, what the fuck like, are we doing here? It's like in SpongeBob when they put real people in and yeah. you're like it's like Game of Thrones when Ed Sheeran is in it. That was so weird. <laughs> yeah. That was so unnecessary yeah. too. But yeah, so that was yeah. that was interesting. So first two episodes fine. Mm-hmm. Um, implying that Marcus Marcus is like the the cop guy yeah. they hand him money they're like thanks for being a corrupt cop <laughs> yeah. they, they throw him the money he takes it yeah. and then like he sees that like what he did like I don't know killed somebody or something it was like did something bad and he <laughs> drops the money yeah. if you did something horrible uh-huh. like somebody was like I need you to like like Someone's like, hey, just keep this door open. Like you're a security guard yeah. at, a, at a bank or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like keep this door open. Yeah, be corrupt for yeah, a bit. Yeah, the yeah, 20 yeah. grand. It's something minor, you yeah. think. And then they're like, we killed everybody inside, <laughs> yeah. but they give you the 20 grand. Do you get rid of the 20 grand? No chance. No chance. Absolutely. Right? No chance. Other than like the unyielding, any guilt I would feel would mm-hmm. be from like, fuck, my, my lawsuit, my like trial is gonna go a lot worse if i keep this money you know what i mean like you'll be convicted i guess harder i think that's fair um but no for sure keep the money the, like, oh no yeah. i feel guilty it's like you yeah. feel guilty and poor or guilty and rich i'm saying yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be guilty and rich yeah, for sure. me? do something good with the money yeah, if you really it, feel that cherry, bad don't just yeah. leave it yeah help it's, rebuild this shit asshole zon yeah, throw it at one of the families who got killed or something <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't fucking know but like, don't just drop it it's so stupid it's such a dumb <laughs> premise in movies they're like yeah. oh oh my guilt i need to oh, i can't use this is blood money fuck that that's like the equivalent of like murdering your way to the end boss and mm-hmm. then being like i'm not like you and leaving him alive yeah yeah and he's like all of my friends are dead. <laughs> you've he's... killed everyone you've made eye contact it's, with yeah, it's like literally like you on site with people who weren't even attacking you. yeah so that was cool uh vi struggled with one dude in the beginning uh-huh. uh and then like episode three she puts on those metal gauntlets it's just mopping like 12 dudes simultaneously it helps just an insane <laughs> training arc apparently yeah. it's like one guy who like eventually turns into the shimmer fiend yeah. and it's just like like apparently the world's greatest fighter but like she the- boxes a ton you see her train what 
You, yeah, that's all you need. How many times you got to see her train? I guess. Um, and then my actual comment was, did this bitch just kill everybody? Which was to Jinx. Yes. Because uh, I was like, holy Christ. I was like, I was texting you, when does Powder die? Yeah. I was also texting you, uh, Vander's kind of a pussy. Because I said my favorite. I know, that was infuriating. Um, Because he was, for objectively, for the first two episodes. And then, great moment. Yeah. Great, like, you know, he's like, I'm going to go fight Silco. Yeah. Get stabbed. Then he like, takes Shimmer and saves everybody. Or at uh -huh. least saves his two daughters. But like he was like, uh, no, we can't. Listen, <laughs> what the beauty of this story, uh -huh. and I'm going to tell you right now, because yeah. I can see you're on the edge of your seat, 9 yeah. out of 10. Very good. Not Fucking better than, thank God. Not better than Castlevania. I'm not listen I'm listen I'm not taking anything from Arcane okay Castlevania is four seasons long yeah. it's there is, is just as much nuance and beautiful characters and story building in Castlevania as there is Arcane but it's done over a longer period yeah. but Arcane 9 out of 10 very Good. very I, Nick has been riling me up all week yeah sending me texts mm -hmm. and shit like this I only got the first half of these notes mm -hmm. where he's like when's this bitch die Vander's a pussy so okay objectively the first two arcs First one's fine. Second yeah. one's good. Last one, masterpiece. Yeah. Last three episodes. I think episode three is like an absolute masterpiece. When Vi punches the shit out of Jinx. Yeah. I like nearly cry every mm -hmm. time. Like still rewatching. Watching that. her break down was very interesting. Yeah. Watching her turn into the character that she is, is very interesting. And then you understand that like they've been separated for so long. Yeah. It's, it's also the true beauty of the story is the nuance in the characters. Yeah. Like, there's no one who's. 100% good yeah. or 100% bad. Even Silco in the end is redeemed. Yeah. yeah. Like Silco is killed by, uh, killed by Jinx actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Jinx in this is, weird saw like ass yeah. setting. Yeah. Yeah. And like, he's like, I, I never would have given you up. He's like, he's talking to the, the, the statue of Vander being like, is there anything more un, like undoing than a daughter? Like, yeah. Like a beautiful character arc. Like you see that he's losing a grip on, on like the underworld because of his love for his yeah. daughter. But at the same time, he, like his motivations are legit. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, like I like in the I even texted you. I was like, the Silco guy seems cool because like in the first three episodes, quite honestly, I sided with him more than I did with Vander. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Like what? There's like literally this is apartheid. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like this is apartheid. Just wants independence for Zon. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, this is apartheid. Like they're like living in the slums. They're not allowed to go to the other side. They're they're living in abject poverty. Yeah. And like sure, then he then flee like floods the streets with drugs. Yeah. That's <laughs> like, that's kind of where he lost me. Yeah, I was like, all right, not the, crazy. I was like the Reaganomics yeah. here are losing me a little bit. <laughs> But like, like in the beginning, he was like, yeah, I just want like uh, the freeze on. And like, he was like, in the end, he was like, here's my like conditional surrender. I'll get rid of shimmer. Yeah. And we just want to be independent. And yeah. I was like, once again, back on his side. Right. And then he's like, I wouldn't have given up Jinx. And I was like, back again on his side. And like, I think every single character, I think out of all the characters, Vi is the most one note. Mm -hmm. Like she's interesting. Yeah. Because like, she like has her motivations are trying to get Jinx back. And so like, she's trying to deal with Kiraman. Um, But like, now, I would agree. Never I, switches. She's always yeah. the good person. I would agree that Vi is the most one note. Not that that makes her like, you know, like a one out of 10 character or anything. Yeah. But she is entirely carried on just being cool as hell. Yeah. Like tattoos and boxing. You're yeah, like, that's just, six. Fuck. Just very sick yeah. in general. I also, I think Caitlyn sucks a little. Kierman is so up her own ass. It's very <laughs> annoying. Like, it's like, it's just like the, a born on third bitch thinking she's yeah. saving the world. It's like, it's like, it's like the best way I can explain it is like uh, Christian missionaries who go to Africa for a week and they're like, we fixed Africa. And it's like, no, yeah. it takes years to make even the smallest dent in <laughs> yeah. like, in like colonialized poverty. Yeah. And I get that's probably like the arc. Like, mm -hmm. you know, every, like you said, season one, everyone's still just starting out. Um, mm -hmm. And like, I think if when they do season two, Caitlin definitely is one of those characters that needs like some intense uh, care put mm. towards to like make me interested in her. Because like, I, I don't know, like I think they should have played like her relationship with Vi was cool. But like every time I was with them, I was like, I don't really give a shit. Yeah. You know, I'd rather, no, be, with I didn't give a shit. I'd rather be with Jace, Victor, yeah. who were supposed to be like the back. Victor's sick. Victor is a, shit a very is cool. cool and like devastating yeah. backstory. Yeah. And, like also I would have died for Rio. The yeah. little fucking um the 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 what is it? It's what, the, the pink little dinger. No. Oh, the like. What is that? What called? is that? It's a, it's an animal. It's not a real a, animal. Not, it's not a real animal. No. The little, well, obviously it's not real. They scaled it up. Not. They're like awful. little, the little, the little stupid little like. Yeah. Poro. It's a Poro in the league where it's just a fluffy guy, right? 
No, you're talking about Heimerdinger's uh, like pet thing. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm talking about uh, the doctor who worked with Victor when he was young. Oh, an Axacodal or Axel whatever. Waddle. Axel That's Waddle. That's what it is. Yeah. The big ass Axel Waddle. Yeah. I would have died for that yeah. thing. <laughs> Speaking of Heimerdinger, yeah, sounds like a slur for German people. <laughs> like, I'm just, like, am I wrong? Heimerdinger is one of those things that like, because there's Heimerdinger. There's a character called Volley Bear, which is just a volleyball joke. Okay. Um, there's a lot of characters that like the lore team inherited from when League had like just bullshit nothing lore. Gotcha. That they seemingly regret or like are like, uh, like, all right, we gotta we gotta keep his name Heimerdinger. That's his name. Mm-hmm. But like now that League of Legends is like taking itself seriously, mm-hmm. it sucks that one of the like Freljord, which I guess is a faction you don't know yet, but one of the like northern factions like God of Thunder is a big bear called Volley Bear, which is a volleyball pun. Oh, <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Why? It's like, yeah, it's just so like... what characters in Arcane are from League? I'm um, assuming Vi, Jinx, Vi, and Heimerdinger? Vi, Jinx, Caitlyn, Heimerdinger, Jace, Victor... Oh, my God. And I... Echo. You remember Echo, the kid? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one He's with got the, a crazy the white, scene. The white dreads were sick. <laughs> the, 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 like, his battle against Jinx... Yeah crazy very cool super cool <laughs> very also cool. like a very slept on character like found yeah. the, i didn't know like they, they really like brushed over the concept that there's no trees left they're yeah. like, they're like yeah. you found a tree and yeah, i was like tr- i was like is this a thing like, yeah found a tree and, you know, it's like, i thought we all had to, i'm just now learning this <laughs> um, was rare yeah they're all from the game but they're what's so good about arcane is that like victor in arcane is so nothing like like he's pre whatever the fuck he is in league gotcha. like they went so early with him with jace mm-hmm. i guess with everyone like jinx starts as a kid mm-hmm. but it's like th- they're such original takes on like the world and on them mm-hmm. and also there are like a good um like silko's not in the game vander is not in the game gotcha maybe there's theories okay but they're dead that he's a character but well th- they're dead well at the end mm-hmm. did you see at the end um singed the guy with the who's also in the game yeah he's got a like bandana he like ke- uh grabs vander's body and is like fucking with it the guy who had rio singed the yes, guy who took yes, like yes. skin off his face yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah he's also in the game um but he people think he's gonna turn vander into like a werewolf character from the game isn't there already a werewolf in league isn't there a big there's a big wolf yes there's, they yeah. think that's vander oh yeah that's what i mean yeah that's kind of so sick. vander's maybe not in the game mel's not in the game do you remember Mel, the girl Jace Fox? Oh! Yeah, the one Jace bangs. Listen. More th- importantly, Mel's mom is not in the game, I, and that's a crime. My brother in Christ, <laughs> that was one of my talking points. My last talking <laughs> yeah. point is literally... Uh, oh, wait, no. Um, there's a lot of hot women in this show, but the Madara? Yeah. The, Ma- the, the Madarada? I don't remember what they, their names were. Her mom, remember that little oh, yeah. like soft Timothy Chalamet archetype, like white twink she has, <laughs> yeah. and that's, a, that's just like like massaging her feet, and, yeah. like has like wine for her. Yeah, I want that to be me so badly, dude. So bad. Mel's mom is the coolest fucking character. Just pulls up out of nowhere. Just in this like Roman like Spartan bathhouse, like gets up like ass mm. naked, ripped. huge, yeah. yeah, ripped. Like yeah, has this little like Timothy Chalamet just hand and foot on her, like. Mm-hmm. So cool. She's like, I'm going to taste the local cuisine. And I was like, I would. So cool. I was like, I'm not enough man, but fuck <laughs> yeah, would I like, try. Oh my God. Yeah. That, yeah. That's a death by snoo snoo. Like that'd be a wild ride. Yeah. But my thing is, so Vi, I was like, I was like, I think Vi is Doomfist. Like, right. It was like, that is like, it's just like, okay. Yeah. Like big She's old like gauntlets. She's like Doomfist verse, uh, first, but yeah. like Okay. Cause she came before yeah, yeah. Doomfist. But yes, in the game. That's what Vi does. Like, you hold down Q, charges up a punch, uh-huh. does the punch. Oh, my God. And then an, her only other attack mm-hmm. is, like, shockwave punches. Gotcha. Literally Doomfist. Also, her ultimate mm-hmm. is that uppercut move Doomfist does. Oh. Truly, literally Doomfist. That's crazy. Yeah. You should but play like, League. I, I've played League, and I've enjoyed it. I played, like, three games, and I was like, this is fun. And yeah. everyone was like, get off. And I was like, all right. <laughs> and everyone was like, get off. And I was like, they're like, you enjoyed League. And I was like, I did. I did enjoy yeah. League. They're like, get ahead of it. They're like, you, yeah. like you'll never. Before like, you stop enjoying yeah, before it. Before you get yeah. like, yeah, like racially slurred or something. Yeah. I was like, all right, yeah, that's fine. I love League. We we should play. I'm a big Siege guy currently. Yeah, I know. That's what are. I want. Actually, they did just come up with the Siege movie. Siege. It was very bad. They came out with a Siege movie? Michael B. Jordan, main character of it. It's got like, I think it's got like a, a three on IMDb. They just came out. Oh, it's fully out. Ubisoft did. 
Well, I don't know if Ubisoft was involved with it, but there was a Rainbow Six Siege, like Tom Clancy's, like Rainbow Six Siege what? movie that came. Yeah, <laughs> that's insane. With Michael B. Jordan. Whoa. Yeah, it's out. That's and, crazy. Like, very critically panned is like being horrific. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, that's so wild. Which is like wild because like dude, I don't know, like there's not that much lore, but like yeah. a lot of cool characters. You yeah, can do something yeah. with it, but video game movies, man. Uh, so yes, good. Not as good as Castlevania, but I understand the hype. If anything is the best thing about it, the music design was crazy. Also, the character, the characters. There we go. Were also <laughs> very, very say. good, but the music design, like, genuinely very, very good. Thank God you didn't come on this podcast and be a fucking asshole about it. Mm -hmm. Post dragging these nuts across your Listen, face. Listen, that was all I. That is <laughs> despite all breaking I my whittle heart, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> my my achy wakey <laughs> wool heart. Um, thank God you liked it. I'll. I still have only seen the first season of Castlevania, so mm -hmm. I might have to like crush through that if you ever give me homework for that uh but. i actually so that's a good part that's a good Transition? switch into our games here yeah. so we actually have two games today because me and danny are trying to do a new thing where we post uh like one really short game as a tiktok uh and then and then we just have our regular games which the draft are long. is hardly a game i don't think you can win it no it's no more you an can't. activity exactly <laughs> yeah. it's an activity and you guys play it long by telling us in the comments or you know Maybe we'll make a poll, like, who won this week's draft? I thought That's you are going to be like, you guys play along by either uh, letting us know in the comments or just fucking off. Or just, just like, fucking off for once. Write a letter, flush it down the toilet. <laughs> yes. I genuinely don't give a shit. Make sure the letter is addressed to just Nick doesn't care. Just leaving us alone. <laughs> yeah, like, honestly, enough. All right, back up. Uh, so, yes, our, we're going to be doing a lot uh, more of these uh, because they're popular on TikTok, and me and Danny are desperate for fame. Uh, if we're if we're if we're gonna be if we're gonna be we're wide be open, this transparent. Yeah, we're gonna be, we're gonna be if we're gonna be wide open with you here. We're just we're content creators, and to be successful, you do what's popular. So, so what's the draft? So the draft, ladies and gentlemen, today me and Danny are going to be drafting the most useless anime team. Yeah. So, so do you want to go first? Sure. Um, first up, I have uh, Goten. I think Goten is number five most useless character. His only use is to be the other half of Gotenks. That's I listen, and while he is the least useful out of Goku's family, yeah, could have got him in the fifth round very easily. That's listen, way too early. Listen, you can. Well, are we starting least to most useless? Yeah, yeah. So no, 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 no. Most to least useless. Nobody does that. I listen. Who cares about? Everyone wants to know the first one. We're going. We people will stay and watch to find out who number one most useless. No, no, is. no. Think about the way a draft works. You're building a team. Okay. So so you want to get your most useless people, like the universally agreed upon most useless people. This is your your, oh. your first round pick. All right, whatever. I fucked up. Right, it's Goten. No, we'll scrap it. We'll no, scrap it's it. Goten. Okay. You want to keep going? Goten. Yeah, Goten. All right, one. Cut all of that. And just be like, keep the Goten bit, and that'll be the TikTok. Yeah. All right. Up first. Yeah. First easiest pick of my life. Ten ten. Oh my goodness. <laughs> People think Sakura? No. Yeah. Ten -ten's Sakura's a good useful. one. Ten Ten's not even in the show. Ten Ten's a great one. Go second. Yeah. Um, Chaozu. Chaozu. Ch Listen, this whole list could be the Dragon Ball characters. Mm -hmm. It's not. Chaozu? What a fucking bozo. Listen. Can you imagine killing yourself and not even leaving a scratch on the enemy doing it? The only thing he damaged was Tien's emotions. Yeah. That was literally The it. only thing he damaged was like a... 40 seconds of my day. Exactly. Uh, I, I'll meet you at Dragon Ball. Yeah. Uh, way below Chiaotsu. Imagine doing nothing and getting all the credit for it. Mr. Satan. Mr. Satan? Layup. <laughs> yeah. Absolute layup. Mr. Even, even, at least Chiaotsu left a scratch. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Um, number three, I have Psyduck. Psyduck. I have Psyduck. I didn't even think about Pokemon. Yeah. That's a yeah. steal. Psyduck blows. Guess what? Not even a psychic type. Did you know that? Yeah. Water. Just a duck. Just a duck. Just a duck. No wonder he's so stressed out. Everybody's like, hey, Psyduck, do a magic trick. And he's <laughs> like, I can't. I'm just a duck. I just, I just have a Prozac <laughs> yeah, subscription. Like... All right. You know what? I, you know, I wasn't even going to go Pokemon. Yeah. But I think I got to meet you in the middle here. Yeah. Magikarp. Magikarp for sure. That's uh, for sure. Oh, all you know is all you know is Splash. Yeah. And, oh, and all all but, Splash does is by the end of Splash, you can struggle. But that's he has it. A, but he has the potential to become a Gyarados. And Psyduck can become Golduck. Ooh, ooh, a Golduck. It's not bad. Misty He's made not it work. even a Gold type either. Oh yeah, because Gold, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the well-known Pokemon type. Go. Um, I have whoever's cutting everybody's hair in Boruto. 
Fuck that guy. That's, Fire his ass. You know what? Deep cut. But <laughs> yeah. I think I think that's gonna be some late some late round efficiency right yeah. there. I think that's gonna be appreciated. Honestly. Fire that dude's ass. That guy single handedly is ruining Ru years, decades of character design. Goodwill. Ruined Gara. Ruined Rock Lee. Ruined yeah. so ruined Naruto. Just the barbershop. Shut it down. Ruined every good looking character. That was your fourth pick. Yeah. My fourth pick. Mm -hmm. I gotta go. Tia Gardner. Tia Yu -Gi -Oh. Gardner. Yeah. Who is that? Tia Gardner, Yu-Gi-Oh? Who even is that? Oh, it's a deep... Listen, this is... Original Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah. Who she, is that? She was a part of the original Yu-Gi team. She had only cute cards. She was just like a cheerleader. Listen, I'm going to be vindicated in the comments. <laughs> Tia Gardner, the worst duelist... That's like me pulling up Zatch Bell on No, you. no, no. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> yeah. Of course, Yu-Gi-Oh. The Zatch Bell of the anime <laughs> yeah. universe. How dare you? Take your last pick. Um... My last pick because he took 1010 10 from me. Easy. Uh my last pick is a uh, Buggy the Clown. Buggy the Cl Buggy the Clown. That's one of the that's one of the warlords of the sea. Yeah. You're disrespecting Buggy the Clown? Buggy the Clown at least around Alabama. I you took 1010. 10. I'm out of them. Oh, you only came in with 5? <laughs> with 5. I forgot I you have could 11. steal them. I forgot you could steal them. Absolutely. Okay, go on. Maybe I'll revise. Oh, I'm no, mistaken. there's no revisions. That. All right, fine. I took, right, you got I took Buggy. You got Buggy. I took Buggy. All right, you know, my last one that I'm taking. Asunder. Go on. Easiest decision of my life. Yeah. Listen, I could have gone Kiba. I yeah. could have doubled down in Naruto. Go into Tuxedo Mask. From Sailor Moon? Sailor Moon Tuxedo Mask. He's that is a the man. love interest. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. He yeah. pulls up every single time, takes all the credits like Mr. Satan. Fuck. The Fuck. I should have did the guy in Kakiguri. Oh, just the main character just of Kakiguri? the main character. I, yeah, Listen, ladies win. and gentlemen. No, I think the Boruto pick, great pick, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Vote. Tell us in the comments. Or we'll make an Instagram poll or something yeah. like that or a YouTube poll. Who won this draft? I might have shot myself in the foot with Buggy. I'm going to get like Jujutsu Kaisen levels of hate on that one. He isn't great. I know he gets better. I know where I'm at. He just gets launched in the stratosphere. <laughs> you, yeah, for Danny's defense, he is in Alabasta. <laughs> yeah. He's slightly useful in Impel Down. Okay. That's like the only, he's slightly useful in Impel Down. And then also he's technically the, like the person who um, broadcasts Marine Ford. Yeah. And that's. That's it. I didn't. It was so hard not to do all Dragon Ball characters. I had. I could have done. I had Mr. Satan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Yajirobe. Yeah. And Yamcha. Yeah. Yajirobe though. Yajirobe. Yeah. Big useful move. Do you remember? Cut off Vegeta's Cut tail. Cut off Vegeta's tail. And he makes Huge sense to use. Beans. That's why I didn't use him. Massive use. He's got this, use. Yeah. Absolutely. Chao Chaozu's just so, I, tangent. Mm -hmm. There is the latest season of Survivor. You ever watch Survivor? Like the TV show the about TV surviving. Show, yeah. No, this is oddly specific to you and Sarah. They do games, mm -hmm. right? And like you win like immunity if you win the game. Day one of this most recent season of Survivor, mm -hmm. they all come out. They're introducing themselves. They're all happy, excited. They have to do the first obstacle course. Uh -huh. They literally just stepped foot on the island. First obstacle course, first obstacle of the obstacle course. They have to like crawl under some wood beams okay. in this like little trench kind of army style. One dude comes in, dives into the wood beam, concusses himself, nearly paralyzes himself, has to go home before the second challenge of the episode. Holy how, shit. How does that guy fucking look at his wife when he comes home? How does that guy come home to his children with a big band-aid on his head and is like, you know, I, I didn't make it. Yeah, but your daddy tried his best. Like, non-ironically like i understand that like like i wouldn't want that to happen in front of my closest friends <laughs> having that nationally televised i'd kill myself dude how do you i would <laughs> listen i'd either kill myself or i would destroy the, our family we're, we're becoming amish yeah. no more electricity yeah. you're Go never on. you're never seeing this episode <laughs> yeah. like, you're home early yeah what of them attacked me isn't that crazy yeah. by the way oh uh, we're unplugging <laughs> you're, you're home early yeah uh the government recalled television yeah actually, i have to return this. yeah i don't know if you guys have heard yeah television's illegal we got yeah. acquired by north korea so i'm gonna take this forever yeah. now i don't know if you heard uh the government's requiring every one in fifth family to kill themselves <laughs> and so you know We're i figured you know everybody else on the block is so nice yeah so i figured yeah. let's get ahead of it i just like i like 
the meanest I've ever been in my life was my phone call to Sarah, like the post game interview uh -huh. where I'm like, this dude better be embarrassed. This guy cannot look at his wife for the rest of his life because everyone on survivor goes on and they're, and I like this, this is the least redeeming conversation we've ever had okay. in terms of me. Everyone on Survivor Sorry, goes I, I, on. Earlier, I screamed, you know yeah, how yeah, you yeah, like yeah. little girls? So I think we're yeah, this is evening the episode. scales. Everyone who goes on Survivor, like, every week, you get one of the contestants being like, you know, like, I'm just here to show my kids. I'm just here to show people. Yeah. You can do it. You can do it at age 40. You yeah. can win Survivor as a woman, as a person of color. Like, mm -hmm. I, I just want to show you that you can accomplish your dreams. Mm -hmm. 20 minutes onto the beach, boom, sent home, concussed, can't read, just like doesn't, fencing position, doesn't remember his wife's name. What are you doing? Just crawl, you psycho. You fucking slow down. <laughs> yeah, just like, take it easy. You know what this reminds me of? When I went to that ninja, the ninja thingy, and yeah. we were talking about the dude who on the, like, the second he got there, just yeah. rolled his ankle in front of his dude's um, date. After this, the only way that I will be humbled is if I go on Survivor, I step off the boat, and my, like, leg bends in a way that my toes touch my knee. You know, like, this is the slow-mo of Danny's big toe going into his mouth. <laughs> into my mouth. Oh. Just like ball out of socket at the hip. Jeff's like, come on out, everybody. I'm like, Jeff, I'm so oh! excited. <laughs> Just like, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Why is my dick out? I'm shitting. I'm shitting, Jeff. Don't look at me or look directly at me. Don't look at me or look directly at me. <laughs> I'm pissing shit and I can't stop. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> and that's and that's and that's what you put on my tombstone. I'm pissing shit, Jeff. I'm pissing shit, and I can't stop. Opposed to oh. remember last week when I said I want my tombstone to say he died hot. He died, <laughs> he died screaming, covered in shit. It's like the doctor's like the way his leg bent, his urethra actually made a main line to his asshole. <laughs> We, it's actually a medical miracle. I don't even actually, yeah. we've now cured multiple diseases yeah. based off what we saw his body undergo. We, we uh, gave him the million dollars out of pity, but he just <laughs> crawled himself into the ocean. No one I thought like, to stop him. I feel like that's the one circumstance where I get the money and I'm like, you know what? Yeah, that's when you drop it. Yeah, yeah. no. <laughs> I don't no. deserve this. All right, so didn't... enough about Survivor. I don't even remember how we got there. I have no topics past. Oh, we have another game. We have, we have another game. game where so me and yeah. Dan Danny's second game is going to be, uh, I have to guess what the top 10, what? Most popular Most characters. Most popular anime. Yeah. On my anime list. Yes. So we'll do that. Maybe next week we'll do um, like most popular characters. That mm -hmm. seems a little harder. Mm. Um, so are we doing homework or are we doing however many I don't get or shots <laughs> I take next episode? Here's the issue. Because uh. if I lose... I think I'll die post, like, if, if I have to take any more than four shots. Like, if it's a shot thing and you lose, doesn't that mean if you win, I have to take as... A's back. You are so confused. Doesn't that mean I have to take the equivalent of how many you get right? So, mm. I, theoretically, I could take ten shots? No. No, I think that would just be a thing for me. Okay, well, would yeah. I lose? Uh, nothing. It would just be a... Oh, boo, let's do homework. Okay, do you, want to, you want to do homework? Because right, so, I want to get drunk on this podcast okay. one day. So let's reintroduce it okay. for, for, the, yeah. for the TikTok forum. So, so today, me and Danny's game is Danny has a list of the top 10 most popular anime according to my anime list, and I have to guess them. And if I get less than seven, he assigns me homework. If I get more than seven, I assign him homework. Okay, you ready? Absolutely. What's your first pick? Uh, I know for a fact that Kaguya-sama Love is War is up there. Um, correct. That's number two? Seven. That's number seven? It's number seven. It got its ass knocked out. Oh my goodness. I know, remember when it was one? Okay. Uh, I have 20 guesses, mind you. Is Oshinoko up there? You have 20 guesses? Okay. Do we want to do, uh, what, you want to do, you want no, to do 15? No, it's fine. Oshinoko's not up there. Oshinoko's not up yeah. there. Yeah. Two guesses. Okay. Uh, Naruto, for sure. No. Naruto's not top 10? Nope. I don't even know. Also, Oshinoko's 12. Naruto's not in the top 12. Oh my god. Okay, uh One Piece? Um 
No. One Piece isn't up one there? One Piece isn't up there. Okay. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist is one. It's got to yeah, be. Yeah, it's okay. one. Okay. So wait, now I'm confused about how you lose now. If I get less than seven with 20 guesses. Okay. 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 So yeah. you have two. Yeah. Got you. Uh, you keep track of how many guesses you I'm have I'm on left. four. Uh, there's also going to be... You've guessed so many. The four. That was my fourth guess. Steins Gate is up there for sure. Yes. Okay. What's Stein Gate? Three. Three. Okay. So I have one, three, and seven. Um, it's going to be all like 24 episoders that are like really good. Neon Genesis Evangelion. Nope. Neon. Oh my God. It's nope. not up there. Uh, I'm going to guess. Honestly, two of these are kind of cheating. Really? <laughs> Actually. No, I got it. Don't, 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 don't. I, I can do it. I can do it. Don't. Okay. Don't it's rigged, me. but go on. What do you mean it's rigged? They're not. Are they not anime? Three are the same anime, I just realized. Three are the same anime? <laughs> yeah. Fate? No. Fate's not up there. Nope. Three are the same anime. That's another guess. Okay, that's at seven. Um, Not Fate. There's three that are the same anime? Yeah. Uh, Fate's the only one that has three different anime. Like, is Bleach up there? Nope. Bleach isn't up there. Um, It's, it's an anime? And then it's like... I don't, uh, never mind. Okay. Go on. Is, um, are any of the movies? I think maybe one is a movie. Is your name up there? Nope. You're lying, April. Nope. Woo! No Ghibli films. No. No Ghibli films. All right. So we got three. That's 10 guesses. We're on one to our Oh 11. my God. Bleach is number two. I'm so sorry. Oh my. Bleach is four. up there. Bleach is two. Bleach is up there, but not Naruto or One Piece? No. That's an absolutely insane. Good for you know, good for Bleach. You know, yeah. I'm not, I'm not it's at a nine point oh seven. It's probably Thousand Year Blood War arc pushing it up, honestly. So eleventh yeah. guess here would have to be is Parasite up there? No. Oh God. Uh how many? We got we got a lot of romance. Is there a lot of battle shown in? Uh, the one that's three mm -hmm. is a comedy. A comedy. Yeah, a comedy action. A comedy action. Is it Gintama? Yes. Okay. Three of them are Gintama. So now I'm, I should have checked before. Okay. It's Gintama with a degree sign. Mm -hmm. Gintama with a, uh, like, yeah. what is this? A co Not a comma, sky comma. Sure, whatever, yeah. And then, an apostrophe. Yes, an apostrophe. Mm -hmm. And then Gintama the final. So do we want to do top 12 then? That's what I'm thinking. Okay. So then you have Oshinoko. Okay. But guess what? Number 11 is Gintama and Chousin. So we're going to do top, top 13. 13? We're gonna Gintama do, is four out of the top 13 we're, animes. We're going to do top 14 because you got fruit baskets, which is 14. I didn't get fruit baskets. <laughs> You're destroying so, it. God damn. Well, then Gintama's 15 and 16. Hey, what? <laughs> no fucking. Here's what we're doing. Okay. You have five. Okay. I have Oshinoko. Yeah. I I'll get this figured out. Bleach. <laughs> yes. I have Full Metal. Full Metal. Steins Gate. Yes. Gintama. Gintama. Yes. Okay. Hunter Hunter. Uh yes. That's my 12th guess. That's six. Okay. Um, and then, ooh, seventh guess here. You're not gonna now fruit bats it's, it's off the it's off, off the table. It's off the table, yeah. which is crazy. Um, but if if we're talking love, if we're talking romance animes, I didn't say it's all. I don't, well, I know, but it's not. Hormi is not up there. No. Um, which is a guess. No. Okay. No, I was just. Right. You didn't have to answer. All I'm right. just. I'm speaking out loud. Hormi is not up there. Okay. Uh, I gotta say, Neon Genesis isn't up there. Hunter Hunter's up there. Naruto, One Piece aren't up there. I'm trying to. I'm trying to dig deeper on this. Gurren Lagann. Nope. Okay. Uh, man. What else? That's my. That's my 14th guess. Oh, God, man. This is tough. This is really tough. I, I can't believe it. It's tough for me, too. They're all Gintama. Yeah, that's absolutely insane. I don't know. I guess I, I shouldn't have guessed using logic here on my anime list. Uh, I'm going to throw out... Is Soul Eater up there? No. 15. You're missing a crazy one. I'm missing a crazy one? Yeah. What do you mean? Like crazy, like big? Yeah. Crazy big. Yeah. Which is a huge hint. Oh, Dragon Ball. Nope. 16 what crazy big that's not one piece bleach dragon ball or naruto you didn't ask naruto i did it was did the first it was the second thing i asked i don't think second thing i asked right, fine but naruto's also not naruto's not up there yeah. okay um crazy big but not the big four right jjk nope 
Is it Chainsaw Man? Nope. How many guesses do you have? You have two I, left. That was my 18th guess. It's My Hero Academia. Nope. It's all tied up, baby. Cor you get one or you lose one, and that determines it. Folks, we got ourselves a game today. There's no way. There's I, that's the biggest anime in the world. That's all of the biggest anime in the world. There, I'm, 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 I got to think. It's not MHA. It's not JJK. It's so. It's definitely not Black Clover. Uh, it's. Do you want to guess Black Clover? No, I don't want to guess Black Clover. It's not. There's no way. If if One Piece, My Hero Academia, Naruto. And Bleach, I mean, Bleach being two is absolutely preposterous, but there's no way it's Black Clover. So I, I got to think other big anime outside of Black. Is it Pokemon? I thought your final guess, Nicholas. Pokemon, Nicholas, the Pokemon is anime is not guess. that good, though. Is it? Uh, yeah, you know what? You know what? Pokemon, yeah. Is that your final guess, Nicholas? Yeah, you know, I, yeah, absolutely. Pokemon, final guess. It's Attack on Titan. God! Damn it, I forgot about Attack on Titan. And you know what? I can't believe you didn't even guess like Demon Slayer also. Oh my God, I didn't think about Demon you, Slayer. You know what? Attack on Titan is two. Takes two spots. Season three is number four. Season five or four is number this five. This is so scuffed. Look at this stupid fucking list. This is so scuffed. <laughs> it's all getting tough. Okay, it's Bleach Thousand. So it goes Full Metal Alchemist, Bleach Thousand Year Blood War Arc, Stein's Gate, Attack on Titan at four, Attack on Titan at five, Gintama, Kaguya-sama Love is War, Gintama, Gintama, Hunter Hunter, <laughs> Gintama, Oshinoko, uh, Ginga Ayu Dendetsu? Yeah. Clanad is on there too. I don't even know what Clanad Fruits is. Fruits Baskets, Gintama, Gintama. <laughs> See? Next time we'll do characters. Your name was 17. Mm hmm. How many were, what was our top? I, I guessed. I was doing like under 16 to the best of my ability. How many? Hold up. What? How many Gintama were there? One, two. There's two. That's two. Three, four, five, six. There's six Gintama. So your name still gets bumped out. And, but there's also two Attack on Titan. I think it still gets bumped out. <laughs> You know, I'll give it. it. Oh, you know, just you know, bare, it, if we crush all those down, mm -hmm. your name becomes eleven. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. You know, yeah. I'll take. I'll, I'll take the loss on that one. All right. I don't have homework yet. Maybe okay. I'll think by the end of the pod. Or you or, guys or have chat. Some homework. You want chat to assign Should homework? I, think, I wonder how easy. You, I wonder how easy it would be for you to watch. Like, I think making you watch Zatch Bell would be cruel because I can't imagine it's even good. What? Also, not good for the pod, objectively. No one cares. <laughs> true, true. Like, literally no one. Like, they'll be like, oh, big Zatch Bell. I got, I got to think of, I'll think of it. Because, like, I mean, I'm, I'm down for chat to give you recommendations. Yeah. Chat can give you recommendations. Give, give me recommendations. <laughs> I won't take them if I don't like them, but yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm down chat. to watch, but listen, I, I got a cap, 12 episodes. Yeah, fair. But listen, Arcane being nine episodes, <laughs> that's beyond the cap. What are you talking it's about? It's nine 40 minute episodes. I, I that equals 12. Everyone yelled at me all week. We're, we're the One Piece updates. All week, <laughs> no One Piece updates. How do you think I feel? I My whole channel was uh, fucking whatever I watched. Angel, Angel Beats, Beats right now. And you have to make content off it. Yeah, nobody's watching content. it. I, oh, there's, a, there's some you people. You tanked my channel That's over this. genuinely fair. Genuinely, okay. <laughs> now, so I'm, we, now I'm feverishly watching Full Metal Alchemist to mm -hmm. balance it out. Which is done well. I don't know yet. Oh, the okay. first one comes out to Friday. Make sure you watch it. This video is already please. out. Yeah, but please, please do watch it. And they will. From the top on it? Chat, we have to redo all that. That's fine. From the top on it. <laughs> all right. Wait. Nice. Um, so I'm thinking Beastars. For homework. Yeah, for homework. Okay. First, like, only the first season, first, right? Yeah, first season's 12 episodes. And I think you'll like it. And I also... If you like it, mm -hmm. I will feel so accomplished as a constant oh, oh, Beastars is not furry porn champion oh. that I am. Because Beastars is furry porn. But hear me out. Well, I mean, the thing is, they have tits. They have tits. Unnecessary addition. Don't love the tits. Well, I mean, I don't hate the tits. You don't hate the I've tits? Never, I've never been it's one. It's what stopped you from watching. I've never. Well, the thing is, okay, yeah. I, listen, that was the way it made me feel. All right, uh -huh. all right, but I wasn't like, you know what? This show could use less boobs. What am I, not American? Oh, 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 oh. what am I? I'm gonna sit here and be like, damn, too many boobies. Yeah. Fuck no, uh -huh. never. Appreciate you. Put me down. <laughs> Put the second, the second I'm like, I'm like, oh, oh the cleavage yeah. in this show yeah. is unbearable. Yeah, take me to the fucking vet. Put me, put me take me <laughs> yeah. out of the woods and put me down. No, it's like, it's got such a good story, great themes, amazing mm. high school drama, like, 
awesome hype moments, mm-hmm. sick fights you like wouldn't expect it. Weird out of a drama so animal weird. high school show. Episode three's got such a hype fight. You're gonna love it. Okay. Really cool artistic shit mm-hmm. like weird like split screen action going on just like great like direction all nice. around um i think you'll love it and i like hate that it's got this furry porn stigma because it's so good and everybody's like yeah like i wish i could watch it but the bunny took out her tits in episode two mm-hmm. and i'm like yeah but like they, they shock it's hard to explain yeah. your favorite hentai has a great story yeah it's very it, it's an uphill battle it's hard to hit him with a butt after yeah. the bunny took out her tits you're like, like uh, yeah the bunny's wearing a bra yeah. and is also like apparently like the slut of the school yeah zootopia had pushback you know how hard it's been being a b-star fan i would push back on judy hops uh, i'm just <laughs> saying once again irrationally you I know who we forgot who Bunny, hot bunny wise. Hot bunny wise. Um, Are you gonna say Jessica Rabbit? Because not a rabbit. Jessica Rabbit. Not a rabbit. What do you mean not a rabbit? Whole ass woman. Jessica Rabbit. Very much. Her last name's Rabbit because she's married to Roger Rabbit. Idiot. Is that? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Jessica Rabbit. She's at least rabbit coated. No. Oh, you're right. Fully a woman. Fully a woman. Fully a woman. Married into the rabbit name. What so, are you talking about, I Nick? Mean, look at her. Yeah, look at her. I, I, God. That's not a rabbit. You know, you're right. She married a rabbit. Yeah, she married a rabbit. Then again, if I had the chance. To marry a rabbit? I, I, yeah. If I could just. Then have I got the anime for you, friend. <laughs> <laughs> B-stars, yeah. baby. Hell yeah. Listen, I'm not in the wrong here. We, you know what we should do one time? Mm. Um, A draft for like. Like non-human anime characters, you would smash. Why would we do that? Nala? Up there. Nala from Lion King? Absolutely. <laughs> Nala. Unnecessarily sexy. <laughs> from the Lion King. Yep. You know what? In that vein, mm. there's a sneak peek of the draft, because I got one too. Okay. Entei. The the Pokemon? I would rail I would let Entei rail me rather. I feel like this is where we dive very much into like the Glaceon, like copy pasta. <laughs> like Glaceon. Dude, Entei is a fucking dilf. Oh wait, no, Umbreon? Which no, one? it's Glaceon. No, it gl- no, it's no, it's Umbreon. The water one. That's not Umbreon. That is uh, Vaporeon. 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 Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've heard it. Um, dude, Entei's a fucking Dilf, man. Entei is a dumb ass dude. That's fair. You big Dilf energy off of Entei. Yeah. Entei rails you. You rail Suicune and Raikou. He stays watches the fuck out yeah, of the get room. Get the fuck out of here, you yeah. loser. Raikou's disgusting. You too. Yeah, Mew Mew two fucks kind of sure. yeah, kind of thick. Yeah, we're using Bald. up all our let's let's keep going back and forth on Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, you want yeah, Pokemon. We would we would. Rip. I feel like Blaziken can get it. Blaziken. Blaziken can get it. Uh, you're not coming out of that unscathed though. You Why? Because he's a big bird. You got it. You want oh, a flaming a beak. flaming bird. You ever have your back just? Go, hi mom. You ever have your back? Hate just, it carved to despise it what absolutely hate it i used to date a girl who was i used to date a girl who's a nail tech and she just had those talons i was Uh, um, that's great takes me out of the moment immediately nails are for Uh, the bedroom no i don't want to bleed i want to bleed i don't want to bleed multiple times i had to tell her stop it i was like enough (laughs) enough (laughs) stop it Like, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Like, it's like, oh, listen, I, oh, am I hurting you? Like, I, why are you hurting me? It's not a, this, this is not a give and take. Dude, you walk up, like, in college, mm. I used to love, like, going to a hookup, like, just limping back. It's like, <laughs> that's like being proud of a hickey. You grow out of it. You're, you're like Gale after he gets whipped in the Hunger Games, you know? I don't want that for me. I don't, I don't, he almost died. They had to put yeah. a bunch of medicated snow on his back. Yeah. Great scene. Great scene. Only time Katniss ever kissed Hot him. Hot scene. Yeah. Oh, well, she kissed him. Yeah. But the only time he ever kissed, Katniss ever kissed him. Yeah, really? Is, is when he was down and out. That was it. It that was only bitch. when he looked like, it was only when he, like, when he was going to die. Yeah. Katniss, Loki, worst character from Game of Thrones. Not Game of Thrones. Hunger yeah, Games. Yeah, I agree. You get, if, it, if, if we're going through the Game of Thrones uh, character roster, I'd say mm-hmm. Katniss is the worst Oh, yeah, one. just the worst. <laughs> she would do well, objectively, yeah. in Game of Thrones. Maybe. She's kind of A bow that, do, that does enough for you in Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones isn't a tournament. Well, it kind of is. You need more than a bow. It's, it's game, like a political it's the scheme. the game of thrones. Yeah, it's a political scheming game. Have you seen Game of Thrones? Have it's you one read those, the third Hunger Games, one of those Daniel? instances where you're like, yeah, like I know all of this about this shit I've never seen. Daniel, the third Hunger Games is political just scheming the You're whole thing moves and counter moves you son of a bitch she's literally you the head of, of the propaganda movement you haven't seen Game of Thrones have you I have I have she literally kills 
President Snow. Well, she doesn't kill President Snow. Well, she does. No, President Snow gets killed by like a group of people. Have you seen she Game of President Thrones? She's not Hunger Games. I'm trying to explain to you uh. why Katniss would work in Game of Thrones because she understands the political movements and that President Coin is exactly who President She's Snow is. She's a political pawn. She's a pro- yeah. She's, she's a pro- used. She's the whole a propaganda time. machine. Yeah. So is so is Jon Snow. He does pretty well. Oh, don't you don't don't Fair. even. Fair. Yeah, that's right. I conceded. That's what I fucking thought. You want to talk about best boys? God, I hate you. No. Yeah, yeah, my best boy of the week, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the show always gets derailed by the time it gets a best boy. Yeah. Um, my best boy of the week, ladies and gentlemen, is Omar from Vinland Saga. Oh, yeah. Which you're currently catching up with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very excited about that. Vinland Saga, uh, probably not its best episode, but a really cool, like, poignant point coming from Omar, the son of, like, uh, Kettle, the guy who owns the farm that Farmland Saga is all taking yeah. place on. Uh, like a really introspective look at like what courage looks like Mm -hmm. uh, and like how courage is like knowing when to let go uh, and like knowing when to give up, which is really sick. Uh, so also Stank texted us and was like, if you guys don't have bo- like best boy, like use all more. So I'm also use, like doing this as a small shout out to Stank because he also very much helped Well, that's us. also been kind of like the running theme of Vinland Saga is like subverting bravery and courage and stuff like that mm. with like, um, I just called him Vinland. With um, Thorfinn. Thorfinn. Yeah, with yeah. Thorfinn. Uh, Vinland yeah, from Vinland, Vinland Saga. and his saga. And, and Jessica Online yeah, exactly. from SAO. Um, Thorfinn's dad, his whole shtick. Thor's. Thor's dad. No, Thor's is Thorfinn's, Thorfinn's dad. Thorfinn's dad. Yes. His whole shtick was that he found this half-dead slave, like, dying in the snow, takes him in, slave owner shows up, and he's like, that's my boy. Mm-hmm. Give him back. And he's like, I'll buy him from you yeah. for, like, everything I own loses all of their livestock slave dies later that night yeah ruins the family just to like uphold their family's morals which like objectively wrong thing to do oh pretty badass though pretty listen it. better yeah. than me definitely what tough. I do. oh listen i'd be like oh you want like two or three cows they'd be like how about everything i'd be like I, well, we like I, we have to yeah, live this guy's dead anyway yeah like, but he's, it's like he's on his well, way but out what's good is that it's like he's doing it like specifically for the kids yeah. like because they're there and he's like this is what's right you like have Chow to Tucker do giving right. his children a better life by making them of have all to- agony yeah. like a hundred percent agony Edward. Yeah. iconic why does it hurt why here? does it hurt everywhere <laughs> have you seen the have you seen the t-shirts yet of nina <laughs> and the dog doing the fusion dance you haven't seen oh they're fantastic that's funny highly recommended yeah. do you have best boy um, my best boy is, uh, Alphonse Elric. Okay. Mm-hmm. That dude is like the comedic backbone of the show. Absolutely. And All-time I did not expect dude, it. Can't sleep. Can't yeah. eat. Can't feel. Love him. Just hanging out. Just constantly like has no detail drawn in him. Like, Permanently. Yeah. He's, I love it when he's just a little, blob, yeah, he's a little yeah. gray blob in the background, just with a little feather tail. I love him. There's a bit where like Ed is like sneaking into a crevice or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he's like, are you sure you're going to be all right in there? Mm-hmm. And Ed's like. It's not about whether I'm all right. It, like, you wouldn't fit in here anyway. Mm. And then Al's, like, just outside. He's like, I didn't ask to be this big. <laughs> and it's like, jeez, man. Like- <laughs> Listen, this is actually kind of perfect because we're doing sticker packs. Um, and we're doing iconic duos. Yeah. And you're going to be Alphonse. I'm Alphonse? I'm Ed. Makes how, sense. I'm how sure is anyone going to be able to tell that I'm Alphonse? Like, that's what about that's me? apparently Cat is having a lot of trouble with I it. Bet. Yeah, they're, they're, like, they're, just they're, Alphonse with the big hair. Like. That's kind of what we were planning instead of like the rooster tail. Yeah. Like, yeah, like a pushback, like slick. That's, funny. that's Yeah, we don't really know how we're doing it quite yet. I have no, I'm looking at your figure of Al and I'm like, does he have like a big, I'm, I was hoping he had a big thing that says Alphonse. So he just replaced yeah. with Danny. Like That would, yeah, just like a big old badge. Yeah. Or we could have like the helmet off and like you could be in it. And like you could just like, be very clearly wearing the armor. Yeah, yeah, which probably I probably have to actually DM them that because that's probably the best way to go about it. Yeah, that's smart. Poor cat having to draw Alphonse is like mm-hmm. nuts. Shitty style and yeah. also not Alphonse. Yeah, this yeah. insane design, absolute nightmare. Yeah. Uh, outside of that, my flashback episode of the week, which I actually have one, I remember. Thank God, uh, I don't. Thousand, uh, thousand Year Blood War comes Coming out back. July eighth. Yeah, isn't that crazy? So it, soon. Also, cr- like the trailer, sick. Like yeah. a full. Like, like usually when you get anime trailers, it's like. Oh, you know, we're getting uh, 35 seconds and it's like, oh, there's Kirito. And then it, it, it's over. It's super annoying. Yeah. Anime this trailers suck. Full on two minutes. Yeah. And what we got from the trailer was insane news <laughs> because we're seeing, we saw that Shinji releases his Bankai in the, in the trailer. And Shinji is uh, like this character. You haven't watched Bleach, but like, it's, obviously I know Shinji releasing he, his Bankai. Exactly. He's one of the visors uh, uh, who used to be like a captain and 
Shinji only ever releases his Bankai in a light novel. Uh-huh. Uh, and like, is like his Bankai is like forbidden because it's so broken. And like, it like makes everybody around him fight each other. Uh-huh. Uh, except for him, of course. And it's only ever shown in a light novel and it's said to be one of the strongest Bankai out there, but it never existed in the manga. So they're actually oh, adapting crazy. it. They're adapting the light novel fight or just like his Bankai into an anime only fight. Yeah. And like everybody's getting to see like one of the most badass Bankais in the history of Bleach get used. Not sick. That's People super are stoked. Cool. I'm, that's interesting because like, Here's what I wonder about light novels. Mm. Does the mangaka write them typically? No. Okay. They're usually co-written by the author. So gotcha, like, gotcha. it's like, they'll like, he's like overseeing it, making sure it's canon. Exactly. Like, yeah. He's like, he'll like be like, all right. Yeah. Like Sakura would do this. Sakura wouldn't do this. Yeah, that yeah. kind of shit. It's always like co-wrote. Like all <laughs> yeah, the Naruto that's ones. First priority. Yeah. Whether or not Sakura is she's got being two true light novels. to characters. Yeah. That's so funny. But like, so like everything is like co-written yeah. and it's like, that's why they're considered canon. But like, they're not like, sometimes they do conflict with like what goes on in the manga. Right. So like, it is really like, it's all, I love light novels. They're yeah. like my favorite shit. And you have no news. I have no news. Oh, whatever. We'll as go to our love letters. This yeah. is the part of the show where me and Danny ask the live chat audience uh, what we want, uh, what they want to hear from us question wise. Uh, so if you guys ever want to ask us a question uh, and get it recorded into the podcast, guys, go ahead and become a member of the YouTube, be Team Danny or Team Nick when it comes down to it. Uh, it's four ninety nine or five ninety nine a month. We appreciate it. Helps support us. It helps keep the lights on, gets us all these fancy cameras. Uh, and you get to ask us silly little questions. So I'm going to go over to the chat right now. Stank asks, what would be the best anime power in the bedroom? And I have an answer for this right off the gate. Hit me. There is a character in My Hero Academia. I know what you're going to say. And I made an anime. I made, a, I made a TikTok about him a long time ago. Because oh, him. The second, oh, absolutely. Oh, interesting. Thinking, no, never mind. But this character, his ability yeah. is he can vibrate. <laughs> okay. And, like, he, like, he can vibrate. I know him. And they, he can vibrate anything but organic material, though. No, he can. We saw recently. Oh, so he he gets an upgrade in the like the the Deku Vigilante arc. Uh-huh. He's able to vibrate. He uses his maximum vibrate against muscular. Yeah, and he like sheds all of muscular's muscles, so like Deku can beat him cool. very easily. Yeah, but when they're introducing his power, like almost like like it's got to be a reason they did it. They go can vibrate any part of his body. And listen, listen, I. I may not be the best I'm in listening. bed, but if it if it had a couple of different vibration options, <laughs> yeah, are a couple you of kidding settings? me? Yeah. That's the easiest, easiest answer of all time. There's probably more creative, better options, yeah. but like, come on, baby, keep it simple. I feel like you're finishing too quick, though. Like, that's got to be the trade-off. Do you think it would feel good? I bet it feels great. You think so? We're going to have a conversation after the pod that is not pod appropriate, uh-huh. but... I feel like that would hurt, honestly. I feel like it would hurt for me. It'd be great for them. I feel like... I feel like I could run into a Dennis Rodman situation rather easily. I feel like it wouldn't hurt. Really? I feel like it'd feel pretty great. It'd be like you and your partner are both experiencing a vibrator. Do I have settings? Probably, because he can go maximum yeah. output. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure you got settings. What if you, like... What You're if controlling it, it. What if in the moment you finish, yeah. you, like, oh, and, like, you just, like, And split. it comes out vibrating. Yeah. He's like, what have you done to me? No, I, well, there's, there's apps... <laughs> absolutely that but at the same time it's like lose control and just maximum vibrate a bitch you know just like sh- 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 destroy her yeah, just, just like, destroy her from the inside my out my god i thought you were gonna say createy because i get that a lot but you know what i think that's lame okay because createy isn't good in bed she's just an inexpensive date that's right? fair yeah. she's just like showing up and she's like you're like oh like should i use adam and eve with the code uh connor to get 25 oh, so percent off i actually do have an adam and eve code i know that's and why i said it it's hammer hammer which good. is awesome yeah <laughs> just fucking awesome she's sitting there she's like should i use adam and eve with code name hammer to mm-hmm. get 25 percent off my purchase and and then like you with creative power is just like nah babe handcuffs done boring all you've done it's, is made a product yeah, it's fine yeah, yeah it's okay i think dog get me any genjutsu <laughs> we're Sukiyomi. having a wild time any genjutsu because they also last like like a second in the real world is like mm. a year in genjutsu it's, it won't sukiyomi but yeah get me sukiyomi we are having the orgy of a lifetime Absolutely. like on our way to our dinner reservation mm-hmm Itachi in the Itachi Light novels used Tsukiyomi on his girlfriend and showed her her entire life with him. Gave her like 
80 years That's in like, like one second and then killed her, you know, because mask her. But yeah. like, she was like, oh, thank you for loving me at the end. And I was like, absolutely. Oh, yeah. That's smooth. Absolutely. That's real smooth. If you're going to kill somebody, that's that's a smooth way to go about it. And here's it. the thing. It's like, oh, babe, I'm tired. But just eye contact. Like, <laughs> one minute she was yeah. like, wow, that was great. And you're like, for me as well. Just like, straight <laughs> to sleep. <laughs> well. Just like, eye bleeding. You're yeah. like, yeah, it's super awesome. Yeah. That would be, that's a good choice. That's my answer, yes. Genjutsu is, Genjutsu, the only place where I'm good in bed. Yeah. That's, that's illusion, baby. <laughs> All right, that's a great question. And that has been Otaku's Anonymous, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for hanging out with us this week. Um... Please don't cancel us. Uh, everything we say is in jest. Uh, every every accusation we throw at anybody. It was a dicey episode. Allegedly, I'd like to say. I'm just gonna I'm gonna sprinkle in a allegedly here at the end to cover us legally. I don't, you can do a blanket <laughs> allegedly <laughs> at the end of every episode. We're gonna do a post a yeah. post mortem blanket allegedly, yeah. and that's gonna be it. I've been Nick, also known as NC Hammer Twenty Three or the Weeb Commander. Uh, if you guys have any questions, make sure to shoot them to the Twitter. Talk to Anon. All of those get back to us through the medium of a group chat that we have with Stank, who manages the twitter make sure you guys follow the tiktok uh you know we're gonna be doing like highly edited uh versions of the games uh, we're gonna be rolling a bunch of those out also follow the instagram for shorts and reels and all of that whichever one is which and become a youtube member if you want to ask us questions and be on the love letter and ask us what anime power we think would be best in bed 499 to be on team nick 599 to be on team danny and yet we team. have more team danny than anything which Woo! is crazy yeah so uh that's ev everything for me daniel uh, I've been uh, Danny Mata. Uh, I make YouTube videos on my own channel mm -hmm. titled Danny Mata. And Nick took most. Of, are you nervous? No. <laughs> Nick took. Uh, it's not sharp. It's a screwdriver. Screw. Yeah. Well, oh, oh, you think it'll shoot through your hand? Danny's doing the the knife trick game uh -huh. thing. Did you actually get it? Yeah, heard, heard a lot. <laughs> heard a lot. <laughs> anyway, no that's fucking... been the pod. <laughs> Goodbye. Mwah. <laughs>